Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how can we merge the cells inside the classic repo. Uh, for example, I have prepared one query using the employee and department table. So when you execute this query, you can able to uh, see the information, uh, department information which is repeated multiple times. So here accounting, accounting, accounting and research, research, research. So I just copy this same query and create a uh, normal classic report here and I will show you that. Uh, create region classic report without merge. Classic report SQL query place this place two and in the attribute section I just set it a stretch report disable disable click OK save and run so now you can able to see the uh, report uh, with the generic informations like accounting is repeated uh, multiple times research and sales is repeated multiple times so uh, to avoid this and also you want to present the report to the user as in the neat manner I am going to use this merge cell concept okay so for that what I am going to do like I am going to create another same classic report region so uh, click create region using the same copied query classic report with match classic report SQL query Report disable disable click OK save. In this page, you can able to see two reports. One is classic report without merge and another report uh, with merge. So here, what I'm going to like add, I'm going to add one JavaScript code uh, in execute page load section. So this is the code. I'm just copy this code and go to the page execute when page load section and paste it here okay so here i have mentioned one static id you can be able to use your own static id or else you just inspect this classic report and get the generated id so here you can see like r4 something right this is the id of this report i am going to paste it here and second thing is here we have started the name as D name, right? So the same name we need to use it here also D name. In case if you are going, going, if the information has repeated for the second column, then you have to do the changes uh, here. Okay. So likewise, you can able to customize this JavaScript code and you can do that. So I'm just going to click OK and save. And also I'm going to add some little bit CSS present the report in neat manner I'm adding this CSS in inline section click save now I am going to run this page the first report without merge you can able to see like accounting is repeated multiple times but in the second report you can able to see like accounting is uh, displayed as only one time but other informations which is merged inside the cell of this particular record Okay. So like for example research it is giving us more than 4, 5 and sales. So one new issue we will face like here like here we are displaying 1 to 14 uh, records right. So what I am going to do like this match section attributes I am going to display up to 10 records. Click save. Refresh it. So now when I am going to click the refresh button it will uh, going to the uh, actual state so now it is not displaying properly right so to avoid this what I am going to do like I am just going to copy the same code what we have pasted in that execute page load section after that I am going to create one new dynamic action after refresh framework event as after refresh Okay, on change of selection type will be the region and our with merge region. 
so here I'm going to paste this JavaScript code click OK no need to assign any selection type just enable the fire on initialization click save now you can refresh and check so I am going to click the previous here there is no changes here so click the next so it working as expected so uh, in case if anyone need this piece of code just uh, comment your email id in the comment section uh, I will share the piece of codes into your uh, inbox so I hope it will be useful to you and you have liked this video so thank you so much for watching